This is fundamentally why we get a rainbow, mm -hmm. okay? Violet light actually propagates at a slower speed in water than red light does. Mm -hmm. Dispersion is the idea that when light moves through a medium, mm -hmm. through stuff, different frequencies are going to propagate at different speeds, okay? And because of that, when light goes into a water bubble, the violet light is going to bend differently than red light. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to cause the rainbow to come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it gets like sort of focused and we get a rainbow. But the prism is the same idea. When it goes through glass, violet light goes slower. And so it's going to bend differently. Mm -hmm. And in interstellar background, right, in the interstellar medium of these ionized particles, right, where it's like atoms without electrons, electrons moving around freely, um, you're going to have that opposite effect. You're going to have slower, slower light, so slower frequencies moving slower than the faster frequencies. Mm -hmm. Just has to do with the different physics that goes on between a glass and a plasma. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, what that means is if there's a transient burst of light, the faster stuff is going to arrive first mm -hmm. and the slower frequencies are going to arrive later. Mm -hmm. And that's what's called a dispersion measure. Mm -hmm. Okay. This thing that they discovered in the Parkes Observatory data, which is now called the Lorimer burst, had this very specific dispersion measure which showed that it was of extra galactic origin. Okay. There was so much dispersion yeah. that meant that there was a lot of stuff that it had, it had to, to get go, through yeah. to that. actually create that delay yes. between the fast and the slow. And then when they back calculated how bright this thing must have been mm -hmm. to be that far away, right. they were like, oh, this thing was incredibly bright. Mm -hmm. This was back in 2007. Since then, we've discovered multiple. There's been some that we've discovered where for that brief millisecond duration, this fast radio burst was brighter than the entire galaxy that it came from. Wow, okay. So it's, yeah. been, it's, been, it's been quite an insane sort of last few decades right. of trying to find these fast radio bursts. Right.